All right, go ruck selection. The hardest endurance event in the world. There are two things that you can control before you show up. One is your training and the other is your gear. And we've seen a lot of mistakes happen in the past. So we want you to pass. I want to set you up for success by walking you through the, the packing list, starting with which rucksack. Now I've got GR1 and I've got GR0. GR1 is 26 liters. GR1, or GR0 is 21. Now for dramatic purposes, I've configured the entire packing list into a GR0. You could wear GR1 if you want, but regardless, you have to wear a GORUCK rucksack. The main reason why is because we build these rucks to be able to withstand war or something like GORUCK selection. They're built to last and they won't fail. We've seen a lot of people show up with rucksacks that have no business at an event like GORUCK selection. And so if by in the off chance one of our rucksacks does fail during the event, then we'll, we'll replace it so that you can continue on with the, with the rest of the event so that you can pass, all right? So, my GR0, this is how I'm showing up to the beginning of Go Ruck Selection. I've got my food, I'm gonna turn that in. It's got my name on it. In this case, I've signed Monster McCarthy up. So he's, he's on the list. And then I've got my GR0. Now, GR0 must weigh 45 pounds dry. That means that we are going to weigh your ruck with a scale without any water or food or without any medical equipment or medical life-saving medicine which you must turn in at the beginning of selection. So this, for, for weight purposes, I've got steel in the back here. This is important. It also gives me a rigid back so that while rucking, I'm, I'm good to go. But for the weight purposes, I'm gonna remove the water from this ruck. I've got a Nalgene bottle clipped in to a carabiner at the top. Dry bag, we'll get to that. Source bladder, I'm going to remove this portion of the source bladder. I'm gonna leave this portion, the tube, in there. It's a nice trick, it's gonna save you a little bit of stress on game day. All right, so, um, just walk you through the, the packing list. From the exterior of it, I've got, got my reflective strips, two of them. I prefer these to a PT belt on the exterior of the ruck simply because they're easier to, to go in. This doesn't, it's much more difficult given the way that the molly is. Wrapping it around the side might come undone. I've seen those turn into gypsy camp type things uh, throughout the course, specifically in the welcome party, which comes fast. I've got a strobe light and I've got uh, two chem lights. Now here's the deal on the chem lights, full of little tricks and tips. They come in a wrapper like this. When we say, when the cadre say, hey, get your chem light out, it's not, hey, pretty pleased with sugar on top, you've got all day to get your chem light out. If, if you're under more stress, things get harder. You don't wanna have to deal with trash. If you leave the trash there, you're gonna get yelled at. It's not fun. Don't bring the trash if you can not bring the trash, right? Now these should be uh, 550 corded into the exterior molly of your rucksack. Now, moving through it, one dry bag right here. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. There's a shakedown at the beginning of Go Ruck Selection. Cadre are gonna say, hey, dump your stuff, and then we're gonna verify that you have everything on the packing list. So we see a lot of people show up and they got their plan, right? Their plan is I got everything wrapped just the way I want it. I got my rucksack, rucksack set up exactly how I want it, and that's how it's gonna be for the entire time. Well, that's the little trick for us to increase the stress is that we're going to break your plan at the outset. So we're gonna say, hey, get rid of everything. Here's me getting rid of everything. In this compartment right here, I've got my second source bladder. Why? Because two is one and one is none. Water is vital. You don't wanna show up, you can't show up with just one bladder. If it breaks, you're screwed. Then you gotta deal only with your Nalgene bottle. Hydration will, will lead to med drops. We've seen it in the past. Hydrate, okay? In the top pocket here, I've got some of my valuables inside of another dry bag. Now I've got my foot kit, my uh, sunscreen, I've got Vaseline anti-chafe gel, uh, I got my ID, and I got 20 bucks right here, okay? In the top, inside of another dry bag. You don't want anything to get wet. When some, this, this rucksack will be submerged, so things that are in it will take on water if they get wet. That's, that's not the goal, that's more weight. More miles with more weight, worse experience for you, right? Make your life as easy as possible. 
So I've got my shoes right here. I've got uh, you know, socks and my shirts and stuff uh, shoved in, into there just to conserve space. Got my hat, got my beanie right here. Got my pair of pants. At the end of the 12 mile ruck, you'll be authorized time to change into other clothing. Highly recommend that you wear pants for the duration of, of Go Ruck selection. It just, uh, you know, it's gonna save your, it's gonna save your knees, it's gonna save your, your, your legs, and that's a good thing. Got my, you know, I got my windbreaker, I got my base layer, I got gloves. All right, gloves. You're gonna need these at the start of the welcome party, which comes after your 12 mile ruck. So what I would do is at the end of that, I would go ahead and put them right here. I wouldn't put them on until I knew that the welcome party was gonna start, but I would put them in the external slant pocket so that they're, they're ready. Not dangling, don't set them down, then you'll lose them, and that's bad. You don't wanna lose anything. Okay, so you could have everything individually wrapped, but the deal is, is that once we say, all right, pack your stuff up, it's not like we say, hey, you've got all day to do it. It's like, you've gotta move fast, fast, fast. I see people, and they're trying their hardest, to, to put everything back in the, the same system that they had it before, it doesn't work. Then we start increasing the stress on you and that's when bad things start to happen. It goes downhill mentally. So again, this is just you being prepared. It takes no time to just shove everything into a dry bag, right? You should bring two. Two is one, one is none, right? I got the, uh, the other ones actually, I put it next to, the, next, to the weight in the, next to the weight back here. I got my second dry bag. All right, couple trade-offs, decisions to make. Now, Jean bottle there. Um, so, at the start, actually, we've got your tan patch, and we've got a Sharpie of death. We're gonna affix that to the front of your rucksack. Like that, we're gonna put your roster number on it. It's gonna stay there until you get a yellow, until you get a red, stuff like that, for performance failures. Couple trade-offs, though. Pelican, sure. You can bring a Pelican instead of a, another dry bag. It's just a question of space and functionality. Just make sure you can get at the things you need to get at and that they're not gonna you know, spill over and slop everywhere once you open it, which it happens. All right, couple important things. Keys. I've seen it a million times. Well, not a million times, but a lot of times. Two people show up, one set of car keys. The person with the keys leaves, right? Uh, or sorry, the person without the keys leaves. He goes to the cadre, he says, hey, the other participant has the keys, I can't get into the car, I can't get into the whatever, because he's got the keys. Well, we're not gonna be able to facilitate those requests because his selection experience is still continuing. So either make duplicate keys or don't bring them or something, but do not plan on sharing keys. <sighs> Cell phone, don't bring it. If you do, we're gonna confiscate it. If we confiscate it, we're not responsible for what happens to it. We'll do our best, but you know, stuff happens. Just don't bring it. Your wallet, you don't need your entire wallet. You've got your ID and, and your cab money. It'll get you back to wherever your wallet is, wherever your bed is, wherever your car is, whatever. That's where you need to keep your stuff. Now, potentially the best for last. The boots versus shoes discussion. This is a 48-hour endurance event. This is not a four-week endurance event. If you're gonna wear shoes, that's great. Just make sure they're stable, all right? Trail shoes are fine. Just make sure they're stable, make sure they're broken in, okay? We force you to bring two pairs. Well, first off, you can run in whatever pair that you, that you wear, um, which in order to make the, the run time, some people don't wanna run in boots, that's fine. If boots are the problem, you're probably not ready anyway, but that's fine. So. Stable trail shoes that will drain. That's what you want. You can't have Gore-Tex boots or Gore-Tex shoes. They don't drain. What happens is you take a step, the shoe fills up with water, and then you're, you're living inside of that, you're living inside of that lagoon, and your feet can only take so much. So these are the boots. I've probably rucked thousands of miles in these. Very nostalgic about them now, because I, I wore these during the Special Forces uh, assessment and selection. Um, so these have drain holes, they're jungle boots, they're very lightweight. I had the shank removed, I had you know, sneakers soles put on them so that they felt more like sneakers. And I got really comfortable with them. I showed with them broken in, showed up with them broken in. Don't bring new shoes, doesn't work, okay? So we, we force you to bring two because there are fundamentally two things that you have to have functioning correctly. If all, 
hell descends two things. You've got to have shoes and you've got to have a rucksack. Those, those things have to work in order for your selection experience to be everything that you're hoping that it will be. In conclusion, there are two things you can control before you show up at Go Ruck Selection. You can control your gear and you can control your training. You need to take both very seriously. So I've shown you a gear setup. Yours needs to be something like this. You need to know where your stuff is. You need to know how to get it quickly. We want you to show up at Go Ruck Selection. Monster wants you to pass. We want you to show up and earn the Go Ruck Selection patch.